Hello. We have an exciting try on today. Have you guys ever heard of a brand called Goelia? Goelia? I'm not actually quite sure how to pronounce it, but they have been on my radar for some time. They've popped into my inbox a few times too, asking to collaborate. And I've noticed that they've got a store in Pitt Street Mall in Sydney. Don't know much about the brand. I think they're a Chinese brand. I haven't actually gone into the store either, but anytime a brand asks to collaborate with me when I haven't had a chance to try, I'm always a little bit weary just because they always want you to say positive things and they feed you a few things that they want you to say and at that point that's when I tap out. I've I work full time, I don't have time to sort of faff about and say stuff that I don't necessarily mean. But in this case, I actually had a third party agency reach out to me to say, hey, look, the brand wanna send you some stuff so that you can try, you can do whatever you want. At least in this forum right now, I can actually share with you my honest thoughts. So yes, the pieces were sent to me, but this is not a paid partnership. So I can actually just be completely candid with you. And typically when the brand sends you things and it's not paid as well, they do want you to be as positive as possible just because you know it's their business but I don't really want that pressure so I'm glad that I've got this sort of third party being a bit of a middleman and so I'm just going to be honest about it just from the perspective of somebody who doesn't really know much about the brand I'm just going to assess the pieces on each of their merits and so I've got a whole box here of stuff that was sent to me from the brand Goelia Goelia maybe we'll just settle we're just going to call it Goelia for the purposes of this video. You can correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm gonna share with you some of my first impressions and I'll try on the bits for you as well, just as is the usual format that I apply for these sorts of videos. There are some pieces in here that I didn't select as well. I think they've just thrown in a couple of bonuses, just, I don't know, just to get my take on things. And so, so each of the pieces comes in its own individual bag. So I just sort of wanted to leave one knit there for you so that you could see what it looked like. Everything obviously has been unpacked just so it's easy for me to manage this video. But I'm gonna start off with this knit. A short sleeve knit, which is made of pure merino wool. I definitely gravitated towards their wool and their silk pieces just because I get along with those fabrics, I like those fabrics, and I find that those fabrics means that the pieces are a little bit more premium. This knit I got in a size small, it is their, I guess it's just a short sleeve sweater. Obviously I'll have everything linked for you in the description section below in the order that I try them on. First impressions, this actually feels quite nice, quite smooth quite premium. Um, I do have a fair few merino wool knits in my wardrobe already and this is very much consistent with that quality. So let me also try on with these shorts. So I've got these shorts in a size 27 which is the equivalent of an Australian size 8 and it also comes with this belt. Let's unpack that shall we. Coffee brown belt. Okay, I'm gonna try this on and this knit together. Let's see what we think. I like the quality of the top. I think the shorts are quite cute as well. But one thing that does irk me that I can't unsee is the pocket placement. It's in a weird spot. I kind of think that it should be a little bit lower. Um, it just feels like a really random spot for a pocket. Okay, and this is the belt on, but that's the leftover belt. I think it looks nice, but I think that I would end up wearing my own belt with this short anyway. But, I don't know, is the pocket thing just irking me? Is it just a me problem? Are you guys noticing it too? And noticing the strange placement of it? Anyway, quality, good. Shorts, quite stylish. Belts, no. Pocket, weird. That's the assessment so far. Next up, I have another knit. So it's a navy knit and it also has this belt attached to it. When I mentioned earlier that there was a dress or there was a piece that I didn't order and it looked a little bit random, I think it's because this is meant to be paired together. This is like the under layer of this vest. Okay, so this is an outfit in itself all together. These three pieces, a vest, a dress, and this belt, which I'm just going to take out of its bag now. There we go. Okay, so this is a belt. It comes with this really cool rhombus style buckle. I'm pretty sure the belt is not leather and these pieces don't 
feel like they're amazing quality either in terms of the fabric. It's a mix of polyester viscose and elastane. This is the dress here and the vest is made of like a polyester wool blend. I actually think that this vest is something that I would wear separately to the dress. Let's see what they look like together as it was intended. Okay, I've got to be honest guys, I wasn't really feeling it when I was unpacking the pieces, but I think paired together, they actually look pretty nice, pretty stylish. I think this belt is really quite cute. There's a lot of belt left over, I've got to say, similar to the last outfit that I tried on, but you can actually tuck it underneath and so it's not visible, so it looks a lot cleaner, as you can see. I think the asymmetric hem of the vest is really cool and the fact that it's a nice mock neck. The colour of the shirt dress underneath is not my cup of tea, but I think altogether it actually looks quite nice, quite feminine. I think that this is actually a pretty nice outfit, if I say so myself. Would be keen to hear what you guys thought. Next up I've got this denim dress which looked quite nice on the website. I thought it was modelled quite well. Um, it's made of an indigo coloured denim and now that I've seen it in person I am not as excited about it. I feel like the indigo tone isn't as deep as I would have liked. kind of wish that there was a little bit more of a wash to it. It feels like quite a dull colour, just now that I'm looking at it in person. It might be a completely different story when I do pop it on. I got myself a size small, which is the equivalent of a size eight. And I guess it's meant to be like an A-line long sleeve denim dress, which I have seen in the window of the Sydney store. And it looked quite nice sort of with all of the pretty lighting and things like that. This also comes with a matching belt. They're very good with the whole matching accessories things. Although I do have my own belts that I like to wear and I don't typically like the PU kind of pleathery belts that a lot of these dresses come with. This is the belt that it comes with and doesn't feel like it's amazing quality but I think together it could work, you know, as it was intended to be styled together. So yeah, let me pop this one on. This one's also got pockets as well, as you can see, patch pockets and it's got a button closure from the top all the way down to the hem. So very similar to the age denim dress, but I think that there are lots of other designers that are also releasing denim dresses that are quite similar to this style as well. Here we have the dress that is a rather flattering cut, I've got to say. I was a little bit concerned about the patch pockets, but I think they're actually quite a cool feature. And I think it boils down to the stitching on the dress. Like, notice how it's got here just on the torso area. It's quite flattering in making me look like I've got a very slim waist. The fabric is not the best quality, but I think that it's saved by all of the little details in the dress. So the fact that it's, you know, got all of these buttons distracting from it. There's also a slight puff in the shoulder as well. I don't know if that's coming across. I haven't worn it with the belt just because I don't like the belt and there's just too much belt left over. I would probably style it without a belt. I think that it's just one of those pieces that just works without it. The length is also quite good on me too. I've just popped my ballet flats on. I haven't bothered to buckle them up, but as you can see, I'm wearing a pair of flats and it works quite well. I think that this is okay. I think it's all right. Next up, I've got this silk polka dot dress and I'm probably the most excited about this piece in the entire parcel that arrived. I think when I was browsing on the website, I thought that this piece was the cutest one and it was styled by the model worn in two different ways. So with the neckline being up higher and also worn the other way around with the neckline being a little bit lower. I think that this is actually meant to be the way that you wear it, but I much prefer wearing it with a higher neckline. I can see myself preferring it anyway. I haven't tried it on yet. This one, let me just double check what the fabric is. I'm pretty sure it's silk. Yes, it is, it's 100% silk. And it also comes with 
you guessed it, comes with a belt. But this one isn't a pleathery PU one. This one is a fabric one. So it comes in the matching fabric. There's also this rosette thing that was styled on the website. Um, that's not really my style though, so I'm probably going to leave that out when I do try that on, but I might end up using this fabric cord just to cinch in my waist. I do like cinching in my waist. I am a millennial. I think that this is going to be quite cute. Seems like it'll be a very nice length. So let's pop this on and let's see how we go. I like this one. I think this is my favorite piece so far. I love the polka dots. I love the fact that it's like a flowy silk fabric. It definitely feels really good quality. I have tied the belt just at my true waist and I think that it's really flattering. I love the fact that there's no belt loops as well telling you where to put the belt and you can just tie it exactly where your waist is. And something else that I didn't expect is that there are pockets, which is awesome. I like quite like the cut of this one too. Like it's a sleeveless style, but it's not showing any visible bra straps, things like that. It's still cut quite wide, which I do like. It means that I'm not faffing about with my straps that, you know, sometimes escape from the sleeves. But this dress is very, very nice. Definitely met my expectations and I can certainly see why this one is a bestseller. I think if there's anything that I've tried on that I would recommend, it is definitely this one. This is numero uno. I have another dress now, which is a little bit different from what I typically wear. This is like a garden print dress. I liked how it looked on the website and I wanted to give it a go. Although now that I see it in person, I'm not sure whether it is computing with my personal style, but let's just have a bit of fun. Let's just see if this works. Um, Quality wise, it actually is pretty good. Let me just check what the fabric is. It is 100% cotton. That's probably why it feels like it's very good quality. There are these really cute buttons throughout. It's got this elastication at the back just to give you a little bit more of a figure. Um, and there's these sort of ruffly sleeves as well. Yeah, look, I think that this could be quite cute for a garden party that I have yet to be invited to. But let's pop this one on and let's see how this one goes. I also went with the size small, which is the equivalent of a size Australian size eight, so. Hey, so the cotton dress is on and I definitely appreciated the elasticized back because I didn't have to undo any of the buttons when I put it on, it just slipped on, so definitely five points for that. Um, the style, I mean, it's a really lovely cut. The print is also very sweet too. But yeah, I don't know whether it suits my style. I've paired it with a pair of these blue suede slingbacks just to vibe summer. And I think that it works quite well. I think it's a very sweet look. There's no issue with the cut. I think it's just the fabric and whether or not it aligns with my personal style. But I definitely do appreciate that it is an easy dress to get on and it's a very sweet looking dress too. So I think that if you enjoy more of a feminine aesthetic, this is something that you would quite enjoy because it is very well cut. Um, there's also pockets. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think. And lastly, this is something that is very much within my style aesthetic. I have another outfit and it's an all black outfit. I've got this top here, which is sort of like a halter neck style top. Uh, let me just see what the fabric is. It's 100% silk. It's definitely made of a crepe de chine fabric, not the Shamu's shiny satiny style silk. I do prefer this type of silk, particularly for these types of tops. And to go with it, I selected a skirt, which is also made of 100% silk. This one has a little bit more texture to it. And I found quite a few pieces on the website that were made of this type of textured silk. So I wanted to give this one a go. It looks pretty nice in person, actually. It looks quite premium. It feels like it's got a little bit of structure too. The skirt is great because it's an A-line style, but it's also got an elasticized waistband at the back, which I'm digging. I do like that. And an invisible zip on the side. 
So this is the last outfit, the last all black outfit of my little try on. Let's pop it on, let's see whether it works. we've ended things off on a very good note. The top is very flattering. I would definitely wear this to an event and I would happily pair this with the A-line skirt, which is really comfortable. It's got great shape to it. I think the print on the silk of the skirt just adds a little bit of texture to it. It's also got pockets. I've got to admit that I was rather skeptical going into this try on, but I definitely can see now the quality from some of these pieces anyway. I definitely think that you should go for things that are silk or 100% merino wool just because I think that you will get a better quality item. The standout for me is definitely that polka dot dress made of the crepe sheen fabric but these silk pieces are also quite lovely. Uh, the 100% cotton dress is also quite good too and there was nothing wrong with the fabric in the merino wool top just the random pocket placement and so definitely go for things that are silk cotton or wool and I don't think that you will be disappointed but no really um, keen to have the opportunity to try on the pieces and be able to freely express my views so yeah this was this was a this was not a joyless experience let me know what you think whether you agree with my assessments and let me know if you had any questions about any of the pieces that I tried on for you as well. See if I can answer them in the comment section. But thank you for watching. Thank you for spending the time with me. Let me know whether I have piqued your curiosity about the brand. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.